Lately I've been living on a highlight it baby y'all yeah 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 TBK family, it's your boy RJ. I'm here with my bro, Mr. Made Open the Bill. And today we got a special guest. Um, she hails. I don't know where she hails from. I don't. Uh, she's from on Earth. <laughs> Currently residing in the Columbus, Georgia area. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, her name is Tiffany Miller. Yep. She is owner and miracle worker for that hair, that scalp. She's <laughs> a miracle worker. <laughs> Whatever you need done. Big miracles. I'm trying to tell you. And also, she is. Mm-hmm. What, what am I so height? I like it. She is. Uh-huh. <laughs> you doing the? You doing the? One uh, of the great, you you're doing know, the Steve Harvey thing right now. That's what it is. When he introduced <laughs> uh, Ricky Smiley. <laughs> That's what it is, huh? <laughs> My brother, <laughs> this girl, she got uh, <laughs> someone hair polish and I. Uh, <laughs> but uh, oh man, she is a businesswoman. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch out for her. You know, mm. she she is. I mean, she rise. has her own product. Not only do she slang and do hair, but uh-huh. she got her own product to go with it. Pure. You know, p- say, that, say it again. Pure. Oh, say, say it again. Pure. I just feel like the water just dropped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, she is literally, and she's young too. Mm. You know, she's she's young, but she's a go getter. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, uh, so Lady Tiffany Miller. We having a Zoom call with her today. Yeah, she's she's phenomenal. Mm. She does. She, I mean, she does unit, unit parties. I'm not gonna say uh, the other we word. don't speak we don't of speak. that word uh, around uh, here. Mm-mm. Okay, she does confident in the style parties. Yep. Um, she is phenomenal. Um, she's definitely up and coming. Yeah, I'll yeah, be yeah. watch out for her. And also, also, also. Mm-hmm. She's one of our sponsors Come for on, man. <laughs> Come the TBK on. podcast. Um, it would be, it would. I mean, it wouldn't be good if we if, if we didn't have her on the show. So yeah. y'all will understand, yeah. you know, with her being an actual um, sponsor. What I mean, what we getting into mm-hmm. when we say TBK presents, we mean it. We mean it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, present. So Tiffany Miller, um, as soon as she get in here, yeah, <laughs> we gonna take off. She's coming. She coming. <laughs> she, 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 she on the way. <laughs> she, she will be here momentarily. She will be here in a minute. And guess what? There will be no challenge here. There will be no challenge today. So, uh, when she get on, you know what I'm saying, we're going to let her do most of the talking for yeah. the most part. I definitely want her to break down what, who, why, and where is this going to take her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We talking, we talking about who? I'm talking about like, like who is she doing it for? Uh huh. Why is she doing? It? Come on, huh? And where is it taking her? Like, what's the future? What's the destination? Because it's a different feel when you yeah, in, yeah. when you off that nine to five, mm-hmm. you know, and you got the business, and you got the business, and you running the business, and you running the business, bro. I mean, you got to. <laughs> Engine all the way on, you know what I'm saying? I definitely uh, am intrigued on hearing the journey. Oh, yeah, and uh, she, I'll let her tell it, you know what I'm saying? You know, 
Can't nobody tell your story better than you. That's true. That's all facts. I mean, come on now. That's it. As soon as she get on, we're going to dive in her package. Yeah. There she go. Uh, oh, she coming in. Uh, oh, it's Bobby, y'all. It's Bobby, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I hit the admit button. There we go. The princess is here. You are. First of all, incredible. Um, let's just Thanks. I was actually watching one of your clients on TV with mm-hmm. one of your units on mm-hmm. and I said why is this person looking so extra beautiful? Extra beautiful. I'm like, she look extra be-. like when I tell <laughs> Yeah. I remember I mean, this watch, right? I'm like, I was like, hello. It's, it's something different about it today. <laughs> That's that unit. <laughs> <laughs> That's that new piece you got on. <laughs> I mean, I mean, phenomenal. Like, I mean, so natural. See, the crazy part now, this whole, this whole thing, the mm. unit, you know, the confident and yeah. giving them style and stuff like. Yeah. I be looking at on TV now, like, see that unit messed up. Right. Why they, why they put that unit uh-huh. on that actress? <laughs> they know better than that. So cheap, so they they don't put a lot of money, so you can tell that their units look <laughs> yeah and, mm. and not real. <laughs> I did. Mm. I think I was watching it. Uh, it was a. I'm gonna go ahead and oust them. <laughs> go ahead and oust. I was watching. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Cause I feel, I feel like people got to do better about yeah. you know their hair and makeup and stuff. Mm. I was watching hey. um, uh, the Black Flash. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Black, Black, Black Lightning. Lightning. <laughs> Black Lightning, right? And uh, uh, shorty had on a unit. I'm like, that jump was just still. No, was <laughs> 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 just sitting there. No yeah. movement. No movement. When I tell you, no movement. I say, see, when you see the real thing, <laughs> when you see some high quality yeah, stuff, yeah. you're like, man, I, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> but take us to the beginning and really knowing that this is what you wanted to do. Like, take us to that part. I will. Uh, it probably hit me back like when I was in college around. 20, I'd say 18, 20, no, 2017, 2007, 2008 year is when it hit me. I used to get my hair done every two weeks with uh, Raymond Torigano. Shout out to him. He had a salon mm-hmm. called Rhythm. And I used to go there every two weeks faithfully. And what I would do is I would make him turn me around in the chair and face the mirror and tell me step by step what he was doing. Wow. And he was like, you know you're going to school for the wrong things. And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? He was like, you got a gift for hair. You love it. And I was like, no. He was like, none of my other clients care to see what I'm doing. (laughs) They just want (laughs) to (laughs) You know, they just want to finish outcome. But you want to see step by step. And I would ask questions like, how do you know how much to cut? Why are you curling it that way? Why are you styling it that way? And so... He was like, you got a love for hair and you don't even realize it. Now, at the time, I didn't at all. Mm. I didn't think of it. I was going to school for accounting, so I was all about my numbers and money. So I was not thinking about that at all. And then um, fast forward, uh, I went to, I was in my senior year of college and I started dabbling in hair, wigs, um, units, creating those different uh, looks for myself. So I'm always the type of person, if I do it for myself and it can be look good, then I'll do it for others. If gotcha. it doesn't work good for me, I'm not doing it for others. Mm. So got to college, I mean, got my senior year in college and started making units for myself. And they were horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta start somewhere though. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I couldn't braid. So just like y'all are on YouTube, I use YouTube to teach me how to braid hair. Right. And 
watch tutorials and figure out how to braid so I know at that time I was stitching the wigs to my braids instead of just wearing them glueless like they are now. Mm -hmm. um, and then I started doing my friends for like $50 or $25, you know, any little change I could get. Just the, I just really just want to do the hair. I didn't care if they paid me or not. And I fell in love with it. Mm. And um, I started making units mainly. The first one was for a lady that had lupus. And she had severe hair loss in the front. Got you. She had no hair at all in the front. She only had like that much hair in the back, like right here. Mm. So I made her a unit and the expression on her face after I created it was priceless. So I was mm. just like, I, I found out what I want to do. This is giving me so much joy. Mm -hmm. So quick job and went for it. <laughs> Quit the job. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Finish with this. Uh, <laughs> take these numbers home with you. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't working. I can't sit behind this desk and just look at the walls of this computer. I need to be outside talking to people and meeting new people and changing lives. And yeah, yeah. All that. We talk about changing lives. Mm -hmm. We talk about units. Right. But I'm intrigued to know about the history of this here great product we got. Mm -hmm. Pure by her glory. Yeah, A lot of yeah. uh, audience in on what, what we got right here. Right. So Pure came about uh, while in cosmetology school. So that's after I quit. And I went to cosmetology school because I said, I can't be a kitchen titian. You know, I got to be legit. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I went to school uh, at Aveda. Um, they had a product line, but they had a couple different product lines based on what texture of hair you had. So if you had Asian hair, they had a right. product line for you. At curly uh, Caucasian hair, they had a product line for you. If you have black hair, they had a product line for you, but it wasn't a great product line. Mm. And I just had product lines for, you know, every different race and nationality hair. And I was like, it's hair. Hair is the same. We all got curly, kinky, you know, a straight hair of some sort. I'm going to give a product line that everybody can use. That's right. You know? So I'm just going to do one system and you can use it for all textures and get the same results. And so I spent most of my, about six months while I was in school, school was a year, um, formulating and getting the products made the look the name um everything and then a week after i graduated cosmetology school is when pure birth um november 27 2016 mm, mm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> said it was birth <laughs> november 27 ain't nothing wrong with that i tell you that now and it, it, it's good that you made a product that's for everyone Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you thought in the mind of all textures. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I know there's all kinds of textures out there, right? Yes. So, so um, <clears throat> more than one head. Got you. Mm -hmm. so, so this universal product that you have. Yes. How is it married to the unit? <laughs> Oh, good. Like good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So it's married to the unit because they go hand in hand. If you mm -hmm. want, your unit is made with human hair. So uh, donated hair from individuals. Um, so it is real hair. So you need to treat it as such with good quality products. So that's why pure in it is married hand in hand. Your hair cannot look fabulous without putting your pure products on. Come <laughs> on. Oh, so this thing. That's it. <laughs> Either way, it's going to look good. Yeah. You got to use pure. So uh, I guess the thing for me is, let me, let, let me take it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because not, I mean, a lot of people, they find what they want to do, but they don't quit their job. <laughs> what, what made you say, <laughs> you I'm know something? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Nine um, to five. <laughs> done. Now, I loved what I do. I loved, uh, I still love teaching. Uh, so I was teaching accounting at a community college, a technical college, and I, I loved it. But I didn't love it as much as I loved hair. 
Mm. And so, you know how you have to give up something you love or like for yeah. something greater? Yeah. I knew I had to stop what I was doing, fully trust and put my faith in God. And come on now. Take me all the way there. Um, that walk to take my two week notice to my dean was the longest <laughs> and scary walk that I took. Because not only am I giving you a two week notice, I'm telling you, bye to my salary, bye to my benefits, mm. to my livelihood, you know, to everything, bye. So I gave her the two weeks, and literally, once I gave it to her, I felt a sense of freedom relief off my my shoulders. I felt wow. so free. I was like skipping back to my office because I knew my life was about to change. Like mm. it was going to be something that I really love. I was going to really love to do every day. So I took that two week notice, skipped a loop my way back to the office, <laughs> to my coworkers. I'm leaving. And I'll see them around. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, goodbye. She did. Yeah. No. So, I've never been a nine to fiver. I grew up in a um entrepreneurship family. My dad's a third generation no farmer. Mm. Um his granddad and my granddad, his dad, my great my granddad and his his granddaddy and my great granddaddy, they farmed. And wow. that's all they it was no other job but entrepreneurship. So I've seen hardworking men in my life the whole time. So that was where my dad had girls. So he instilled that in his girls. And that's how we got to you know where we are. Currently. Wow. Mm. Now, are you the only one into hair or? I am. My other two sisters are nurses. Oh, so, so they out in the field field. Yeah. Yeah. So they're on the front line. One's been working very hard with COVID, and the oh, other is a um, cardio heart nurse. Wow. So you're like different, different. <laughs> <laughs> different because I'm the middle child. You know what they say about the middle. Child. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's try something different. <laughs> That makes sense. Wow. Uh, she spoke about the passion. Mm-hmm. And we already know the line is called pure. Mm-hmm. So can you break down how your passion for the purity translated from your hard work? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I'm trying to um, on here. <laughs> right. <laughs> so because I've always been my dad has always told me to be your authentic self and always treat people how you want to be treated no matter what. And we're right. just dealing with uh, currently in the world with racism and discrimination. It was mm-hmm. it's a lot of that going on in my hometown. So my dad always would say, Don't let that discourage you, don't let that stop you. You know, always be your pure self everywhere you go. Wow. Um, so I implemented that, that into my heart. So when I knew I wanted to go into entrepreneurship, I called my dad and told him. And uh, he was proud because somebody was going into it. Uh, wow. He was farming, but it's not, I told him it's kind of similar. My ingredients are still from the farm, but it's not <laughs> exactly farming. <laughs> you know, so. Right. Uh, Lunch the product line and he loves it. He uses it. My mom uses it. And wow. he's always told me authentic for yourself. I mean, he told me opt- opticals was going to come, you know, and mm-hmm. things were going to get away while starting my business. And, you know, racial discrimination happened while starting my business. And I didn't think Columbus, because I was considered the city here, that it didn't have that. <laughs> right. It's tons of it. Uh, and it's not covered. Like, I mean, Columbus, I feel like they cover it up, but it's still there when you try to do certain yeah. stuff. So even mm-hmm. trying to open my salon, I had a guy discriminate against me and think I was trafficking drugs for my salon purposes. Uh, and I had to tell him, no, I'm authentically opening up a salon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have ill intentions. I, I will never do anything illegal or anything like that. So I'm mm-hmm. like, I want to really authentically open up a nice upscale one-on-one personal salon space right with hot and good extensions so 
there we go. And I think, I think a lot of times we get clumped in. <laughs> get clumped in with everything else. Yeah, like, hold on, yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> hey, do I even look like I do that? Right. <laughs> You're talking about. We go re look, we re- do something. No, I'm not trying to do that. And I think I'm thankful one of my clients was there. I called her. No, she heard me talking and she came out. Mm. And she was like, I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to come. And they kind of uh, like, he's but it was just, it was a headache. But, you know, I feel like nothing is easy. So you're always going to go through something. Come on, right. Like a little setback, but that just means to go harder. You already yeah. Oh, yeah. So you got to go harder. I mean, a setback is set up for a greater come up, right? That's, what they That's say. how I feel. That's right? what they say. I mean, if it's easy, I don't think you should do it. Nah. <laughs> No, I don't, because everything I has not been easy. If you ain't ready to dish out your own money, don't. Sure. don't. Come on, you could you could actually say that again. Don't don't come into this entrepreneurship world. You will be broke trying to get to your, get to your next level. <laughs> yeah, if you ain't looking at your balance, trying to count, can uh-huh. I get this <laughs> without going overboard? <laughs> Doesn't strategically balance out everything you touch. I mean, I'm everything. To tell you. And if you don't have that structure, you will be an epic fail in a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, one cheeseburger can break your business. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I should have brought that equipment to get that cheeseburger. It's just five dollars. <laughs> It all plays it. Every penny yeah, yeah. counts with, with you an entrepreneur. And uh, I know with you, I mean, because you got hair and you got a uh, product. Uh-huh. So that's constantly having inventory on hand. The products, I have to have them, you know, fully stocked. And you got to pay for it to be fully stocked. Oh. And you got to for your investment to come back. Is that, would you talk to these uh, to these people who are trying to do this? Because I don't think they understand the hard work. They just see you. They just, you see doing the, the unit party. Yeah, yeah. She got product. I can do it, but I don't think they get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> this has been the work from 2012 up until now. That's a whole eight years. Like It was not a flop. <laughs> It was a long eight years. <laughs> and I started doing the, the units, I think, really full time, probably like 2015 is when I started really making them. And thankful that I was doing that so that when this epidemic came, people already knew my name for the units. So it was easy to just, you know, transition right on over into the unit parties because they already knew I was making units before. Yeah. Corona destroyed everybody's life for a few months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it it didn't affect you all like that, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing about it. This is what would test a real entrepreneur from a fake one. If Come you on. can make it if you can make it through a crisis, you will you good. You gotta get creative. You gotta I'm go back to, to the <laughs> You can't be afraid of stuff like this. The camera. I was scared of the camera. But as I do big parties every Saturday, I get more and more. Yeah. <laughs> you do some a long time. Trust. Yeah. You get used to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get used to it. And I was terrified to sit in front of a camera and talk. Terrified. I say we we made our biggest come up in uh oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure, <laughs> honestly, we had time to uh, buckle down. Yeah, yeah, and you had time to think because there's no distraction. No one's calling you to go nowhere or do nothing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Could you come over now? Nah, it wasn't uh, none of that. <laughs> six feet, <laughs> like right. you, like you tell the truth. Like I can't go nowhere for real. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. We in the house, right? We have pieces. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I think I think this is a uh, it's been a it's been a great season, mm. you know. But mm-hmm. just like you said, it, it shows you where you are as far as entrepreneur, as far as different other stuff. Like mm-hmm. I I know for us, we see a lot of people doing TikTok. I said, man, we ain't doing no TikTok. Yeah. Let's let's 
Buckle right. down <laughs> and lock down this podcast stuff along with other other stuff. You know, I think so. uh, the craziest part about that is we started TikTok before that wave came in oh, yeah. and fell off immediately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Are so you ahead of the curve? See, you talking good. Come on, now. That's <laughs> it. So what would you say to a young woman or mm-hmm. somebody who wants to go in the same field that you're doing? Now, when I say same field, listen, people, I'm not mm-hmm. just talking about hair. She went beyond hair. Mm-hmm. She could have stopped that hair. She could have stopped that one product. But as you see, she has a slew <laughs> of product. So what do you say to somebody who has that hesitant? How do you encourage them through this with your words? I always tell people um, to just do it. Just go for it. And my favorite claim is let's get it. And I say this because the only thing that can happen is that you can fail and you'll go back to living your same life that you were living before. Mm. Right? It ain't nothing bad that can really happen. So it's like, it's worth the try to just see what's going to happen. And usually once you try, it's, it's go. It's go time from there. It's, it's non-stopping. Mm-hmm. So it's going to, you know, go and run with it. And if it doesn't, you just go back to the drawing board. What do I need to do next time? I mean, I believe a failure will always make you a stronger person. Mm. So you can fail in order to be a better you. Always. So I don't mind failing because they're teaching me some steps to make it to the next level. See, it's key, the key thing that she said is she failed. Mm-hmm. See, failing is failing just what it is. Yeah. She failed to learn, though. <laughs> <laughs> That was her thing. I mean, that's just awesome to me. That's my that's my thing. Like, fail till you. I mean, just keep failing. I mean, mm-hmm. the true failure is not getting back up. <laughs> to me, <laughs> yeah, you will. You have to. You have to do it. I mean, it's just worth a try. One try to see, you know, what's gonna happen. Just one try. Yeah. I remember as in saying to me because my, my life changed when I went to on a trip to Chile. So I went to um San Diego. San Diego, I think that's how I say it, Chile. On a cousin's trip, me, my sister and my cousin. And while there, I wasn't really happy with my job with teaching. I was stressed out. I was sad. But I was mm. doing hair on the side, which I love. Right. So her was encouraging me to go pursue hair. And I was like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I never forget these words came in my cousin's ha- my her mouth. She said, Tiffany, what are you scared of? I know you ain't scared of success. Mm. And it's success, just success. <laughs> <laughs> An echo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, just really biting at my face. And I said, you know, you're right. Like, what am I afraid of? And so that gave me the boost. And literally when we got back from that trip, that trip was two weeks long and um, about, we took it a, a summer trip, it was like in June. Came back there, two weeks later, I had formulated my exit. Two week notice. <laughs> you got and really, exit plans. <laughs> I had mapped out, you know, how much money I had in my savings, what I would need for that whole year for school, you know, what I would need for gas, um, how I was gonna pay my bills. And so my thing was just, if the school could still let me teach part-time, I'll be fine. Mm. Because the part-time money would be enough to cover my um, expenses. And so they said, yeah, you can you can do it part-time. Sure, let's do it. Mm. And I said, oh, that's it. I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks Forget done. Forget it. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's been nice knowing y'all. <laughs> <laughs> So, I know it's pure by uh, her glory, mm-hmm. but I've seen my brother use this product too. So, what, what we got for the men? Well, we definitely have a product line coming, special lady formula for men. But until then, men can still use the pure products. They still ain't nothing wrong with them. it. Listen, listen, just cause, <laughs> just cause say her on it, don't mean it ain't <laughs> yours. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. 
still working on how I don't know if I want to re if I want to name a fresh brand for the males or do I mm. want to just branch it from the pure brand and put like four men up under or something. So I'm still trying to <laughs> get the side of it formulated. I know some men don't like the, the purple coloring of it and Man, they feel like purple is royalty. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, I'm like, come on, man. Like, come on, let's let's <laughs> the stuff. No, don't let wash, <laughs> wash your body with. Let's do this. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You're not using any, any real shampoo. I'm trying to really help you use some shampoo. Like, like <laughs> let's stop being so sensitive out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. So I am looking at getting more. Uh, I just haven't decided how I want to do it, but I am looking out for the the meals because I have a lot of males that love the products too. I do. Honestly, I do. I love the product. Like, I don't give a care if it's say her. At the right. end of the- <laughs> I don't give a care if it's purple. I mean, listen, mm-hmm. men, men out here, women usually got the best hair care anyway. And that's facts. <laughs> men got the little corner. <laughs> And women taking over the whole shower. Exactly. Come on. Just join in. So she put it in here. <laughs> <laughs> now, I just do ask for my ladies to tell their husbands or significant others that a little goes a long way because y'all get a little heavy handed. Oh, peace out. You don't need a lot. With her you product, don't you don't need a lot. Squeezing it. I don't even have much hair. I'm squeezing so much. <laughs> See, with, with, with your product, that's like product abuse. <laughs> it is. Like, you it can't is. do that. Yeah, I mean, you don't need that much. You need a dime size to a quarter size, no matter what amount of hair you have. So, you don't need much. A little goes a long way. That's why they're in small forms. And when outside does open back up, you can travel with them. <laughs> man, I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, man. You want some good hair care? Close your eyes and put it on then. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to see the purple. <laughs> so you don't see what you're putting on your head. Confuse yourself then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> stop being so sensitive. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So, but I mean, man, well, I, I am so proud of you honestly as as i mean just knowing and seeing the things that you have done i mean i've heard countless of stories mm-hmm. and you are literally changing the hair game just in columbus right now but i know it's gonna get it's gonna be worldwide yes yeah i'm trying to get one of your units on one of these tv shows y'all need them y'all need mm-hmm. these units stop yes. playing around if I can point it out as a man, <laughs> <laughs> then it's bad. Then it's Thank bad. You. <laughs> no special. I notice them all the time. All the time. And I just be like, mm, I wonder who I need to talk to. <laughs> we go, we're going to look into that. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Yeah. Tyler Perry, listen. <laughs> yeah. Tyler, listen. Mr. Perry. Mr. Perry. Right. I'm going to tag you in this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Give her a call. Give her a call. I mean, love to assist. She fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hair care connoisseur. Come on, you won't find that like this. Come on. She got passion. I mean, you ain't this is your one-stop shop. Tyler Perry, listen, I'm trying to talk to you here. Listen. Mm-hmm. You don't know me yet, but you're going to get to know me. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, big facts. <laughs> so, if you want your hair done, ladies, you want to save your marriage? <laughs> if, if your other stylist is putting glue on your hair, <laughs> see, oh, oh, Stop. it's getting thick. Stop. <laughs> 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 if you put if, if they put glue on your scalp <laughs> and you peeling all your color Come off, on, nah. <laughs> what is this? You at the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> you at the wrong location. <laughs> Tell them where you're located at. 
Located in Columbus, Georgia, 6751 Macon Road, Suite 17. You'll see the sign from the road. It says Her Glory Salon Plus Extensions. You can purchase your pure hair care products there, your units there, your extensions there, and get awesome one-on-one luxury service. Okay, and also give me all of your social media. Of course, we'll be posting it too. But give them all your social media for those who are on the podcast. Uh-huh. Podcast, be like, I couldn't see it. Okay, what well, she's about to tell you. <laughs> so listen. Follow me on Instagram at I am her glory and at Pure by HG. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Tiffany Miller, Pure by HG, or Her Glory Salon Plus Extensions. Get your hair care together. Also, she is a sponsor of this podcast. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, she's supportive. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. So we're going to push her as she, you know, <clears throat> do her thing. Check out her uh, unit parties as she yeah. show you live in action. How, I mean, it's not like she's bringing it to you already done. She's showing you how it's done. Come on yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Most mm-hmm. of let me buy that. I'm gonna go sell it for twenty dollars more. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I know uh these products are also available online. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're online at www.purebyhg.com. Also, live and y'all are the first to know, I have two Uh-oh. new products coming out. I see you right. Oh yeah, that little one I seen. <laughs> I haven't tried that out yet. My wife, she be guarding that one. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell them the name of it. This is the Tame Edge Control. So it's used to slick those edges down. You can also use this as a styling tool. And then we have Pure Defining Gel, which is good for your curly hairs to define them and give them some hold. So, so these are the two new New babies that come out. For okay, the <clears throat> they coming out for the summer, right? Yes, summertime. Okay, so listen, listen. I'm gonna say, ladies and men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Attention, because since we've been team, men have hair now. Yeah, a lot too. A you lot. Need to tame that force <laughs> up here <laughs> and right here. <laughs> <laughs> Same all that. This and that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. So when you do go to the barber, he ain't got to struggle. Come all on. right. Be still. <laughs> Be still now. <laughs> so um, this is Tiffany Miller, man. I mean, phenomenal woman. Phenomenal woman of God. Mm-hmm. Um, she is truly, truly the hair care. <laughs> connoisseur. That's it. I love it. Oh, oh, you might as well ride with that one. <laughs> We're gonna put that on t-shirts, you know. And we approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> so we're closing out. I'm Mr. Made Over. It's your boy RJ. And I'm Tiffany Miller. Go get you some hair care product. We out. (laughs) Lately, I've been living on a high.